Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know where you're at or what you're doing. Or Welcome back to another adventure on the bite. We got Ryan Traw with us today. We're on the hunt for steelhead. There's probably some coho that we're gonna hook up today. I mean, most likely there's a lot of coho everywhere in the Northwest right now. The water is not, is that a fish rolling or is that you pulling it back? Yeah, Ryan's on, a little oh, trout. Oh, it's a trout. We're fishing, uh, you know, we haven't had much rain. We've had a little bit of preseason rain, but not enough to uh, kick these rivers, you know, up into the high we want for steelhead. So we're fishing lower water today. Um, but to me, coho, they just love any kind of spinner color you put in front of them. You know, steelhead seem to be more picky, so we're gonna be running, you know, our blue RMBs and stuff. Uh, I think I got a pink one on. Uh, what color are you rocking, Ryan? Ryan just hooked up another cutthroat. What is that, you in a cutthroat hole, bud? He's took two cutthroat on two casts. It's kind of actually hilarious right now. But he's rocking a pink one. Um, I gotta get my stuff in there. He's gonna catch all the fish, so don't go nowhere. With the low water, all the fish are kind of hanging in these deep little divots. Um, I'm pretty sure we saw a steelhead in that last hole, but we couldn't get past the coho to get him. So I'm gonna walk up here in this next little divot and see if there's any fish up here. Oh, no. Well, not the steelhead we're after, but good fight right here nonetheless. He might not be ready. He's a big boy. He looks like uh, an Alaskan fish or a sockeye or, you know, one of those big Arctic char or something like that. Look at the tail on that thing. See if I can hold it. Boom, buddy. Super healthy fish right there. Look at the size of the tail girth on him. That thing's gotta be 12, 13 pounds, easy. Maybe more. Hard to tell on these big guys. They lose so much body mass, you know, on their travel up the river. Who knows, this guy could have been that 18, 20 pound big bull. Get him released. He's all wrapped up. The normal coho wrap job. Just a beautiful Oregon coho specimen right there. Wild as can be. Look at the size of that adipose fin right there, dude. But we gotta get him go so he go back to his ladies and do his thing. Ready, big guy? Let's do it. Thank you. God, that never gets old. <laughs> never gets old. <laughs> All right, Ryan just hooked up on another fire truck. This little, this little creek fishing. I mean, obviously we are after steelhead. I love steelhead fishing far more than I like coho fishing, but it's December, so our chances of uh, getting a steelhead are kind of slim, but the, like I said before, the first one is always a monster. But Ryan looks like he's got a nice fire truck on right here. This is his third hookup on a, the bigger size fish. He's also got three, three cutthroat in that topple, so he's having a good day. Chill, bro. Pop hook and let you go. Oh, beauty. Look at that big old nose on them. They're cool looking. I don't care who you I don't care who you are, that thing is pretty. Get in there. Go do your thing, man. So yeah, we just kind of walk the river and find these little divots where there's some uh, deeper water cover, and that's where all the fish are. Whether it's coho, chinook, or steelhead. Ryan's on. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous fish too. Super chrome and silver. Big fire trucks coming around out there. Hey. 
<laughs> you can see there's nowhere for us to land fish right here, guys. And instead of helping Ryan, I'm just going to film him. <laughs> it makes it that much funner. Woo -hoo -hoo. Absolutely beautiful fish. Gorgeous. R&B. Smash that pink R&B spinner right there. Let's go ahead and give it a nice release. Later, babe. Oh, yeah. Go make babies. Come on. <laughs> Ryan Traw for another fish. All right, so we're down this little spa right here. Ryan actually just took the fish. I see a couple more fish out, but check out the size of this thistle bush right here. It doesn't look like much, but you know, picture this thing in your lawn. Like here, here's my backpack. Here's my backpack. Look at the size of this thistle. Talk about growing undisturbed just gets to grow and that thing is huge. I would not want to fall on that with my hands. Definitely get out of something. Uh, something else. I think I'll pull this one anyway. It's disintegrating. We're not gonna take this one home. But this, honestly, Asher could probably break this down better, but this is a lobster mushroom and it's actually a fungus on a fungus or a virus on a fungus parasite of some kind parasite on a fungus Fungal parasite and it comes from what's the mushroom that it mainly loves to um, russula or something Rusulas. like that basically a russula caught a nasty virus and it turns into this and actually this one's pretty gross so i probably i don't know they smell like seafood we'll it's go ahead weird. and leave that one yeah, we're not going to keep that. You can tell it's disintegrating on the inside there. But the outside feels pretty firm. Really cool mushroom when they're in their prime. And like I said, they smell like seafood and they're red, so that's probably why they call them lobster mushroom. But cool find. Eww. Cool find right there. All right, guys, so you guys seen a lot of fish today. We caught a lot of fish today. I think Tra's got a good handful. He's upriver right now. Who knows? He's probably got more. I don't know. We're having trouble getting through these coho. We, we swear we've seen a couple possible steelhead um, in the mix. I saw but, a steelhead here yesterday. But you can't really guarantee it until you hook it up, right? <laughs> maybe some along the far wall up in that dark it looks like maybe looks kind of empty though <laughs> hell yeah right where i thought they'd be too today's ryan's day for sure i'm all i think they're up in that dark first cast it might not be, but this potentially could be the final fish of today. Yeah. Tail that and hold it up. Oh, beautiful coho. Switch spots. 
<sighs> First cast. Woo! Probably the final hole. Look at that fish. Oh, did you miss me? R and B. Oh, no. Oh, Lord, beautiful fish. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. How many fish we caught today? Twenty five, twenty. At least landed twenty, I think. Right, How many? That, uh, uh, oh, good fish, dude. Good fish. Big fish. Big fish. Dude, he snuck on it. Oh, there's one chasing him. Another big one. Okay, it could still be a coho. Calm down. But dude, he did not look like a coho. Got to be a coho. Yeah. Or a Chinook? It's a piggin. It looks like a nook, huh? That's a nook for sure. I'll just bring him right up. Ooh. Oh, baby. Big, chunky fish on right now. It looks a lot like a Chinook. It's gotta be a Chinook. On the blue, of course it's a Chinook on the blue. What a beautiful beast of a salmon. Especially in this little tiny trip. Later, buddy. See you, bud. Thank you. Beautiful December day. We thank you guys for being here with us. Like, subscribe, just get it in. We're out here, beautiful Pacific Northwest. Loving it, catching fish. It was a really fun day today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed doing it. Go check out any of our social meds. We got the links below. And uh, go check us out at theendlessbite.com. You can see the merch market there. Get yourself all fitted out with some fresh gear, hats, shirts, all of it. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for more fun action. Yeah, so much more to come. So hit that like down below. That subscribe's easy, man. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Yee!